this is Ravi. Welcome to TechLeck Video Tutorials. Uh, this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to data engineering fundamentals. If you want to become a big data engineer or a cloud data engineer, the basic information which you should have an idea before starting any data engineering course. So these are a lot of common concepts which uh, are related to compute. It may be related to data. It's related to cloud. It's related to process, whatever it is. If you want to become a data engineer, if you want to become a Spicebug developer or big data engineer or any cloud-based data warehousing or big data developer, basic information which you should know, that we will call it as data engineering fundamentals. Data engineering fundamentals. Because uh, before starting with Spicebug, uh, before starting with Spark or Scala, any language, this information is very important to understand more detail in Spark architecture, to get a more clarity on Spark, to get more clarity on cloud infrastructure. And when it comes to performance tuning point of view, these fundamentals are very important, okay? So let's start with a primary concept is data. What is exactly data? What is exactly data and different types of data? Data is information, data is a information. That information which we can store in any format. Data is information, that information which we can store in any format. Structured format, structured data means like any database, if you are storing data in a database, are delimited files like a TSV, CSV. So these kind of data, we will call this a structured data. It will be in a structured form like this. Columns and rows, you see this. Data is the information, that information may be any type. So one of the type is structured data. Then you can choose any RDBMS, maybe Oracle, Teradata, IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, many databases are available. So any database, any database, mainly we will use databases to store the information. So that information is nothing but data. That data, when you're storing in databases, databases stores structured format. Then there is another type called semi-structured data. Semi-structured data. Semi-structured data, primarily XML and JSON, we will call it as a semi-structured data. Even some missions generated data are some PDFs, uh, which will be having their standard format. So those kind of data also, we will call it as semi-structured data. Like uh, it's not a fully structured, it is not fully unstructured, but some tax based, like uh, if it is uh, XML, this is the tax based data. If it is JSON, curly brackets, key value pair. If you know Python, Python key value pair dictionary. Key value pair data opening and closing with the uh, curly brackets. So that is data. The information in a tax basis, in a proper uh, tax basis, or key value pair basis, or particular format basis. So those kind of data, we will call it as semi-structured data. So XML JSON is a common, other than XML and JSON, especially when it comes to hospital related, like a hospital, whenever you visit a hospital, right? Patient information, every hospital, they will have their own template, patient information, okay? Inpatient, outpatient. So those they will be storing in a PDFs. So that PDFs also, we need to consider sometimes semi-structured data. Sometimes missions, IoT are mission generated data. So they will have their own format, standard format. So that data also will consider as semi-structured data. And the last 10 years, XML usage is very less. And uh, wherever API was there, wherever middleware was there, most of the projects, middleware projects, you see XML, Java-based middlewares. Last 10 years, it use, it's using very less. And JSON increase, JSON usage, it's increased a lot from last 10 years. Even if you go to the Google, you can, you can do the search Google Trends. You can search in Google Trends. Okay, so JSON, XML. So when it comes to JSON usage from 12 months, instead of 12 months earlier, I'll go with the 2004. You see this 2004, it is increasing. Okay, and when it goes to XML, so it is decreasing from 2004. Just I'm comparing both. Let's see. Okay, so JSON in earlier, you see a lot of uses, lot of uses, uh, XML, wherever Java is there, middle ways, API based. So now it's reduced a lot and uh, companies are moving to cloud. When it comes to cloud, the best format is JSON. So JSON uh, will give you flexibility, uh, key value pair data and uh, complex data types. Both will support complex data types when it comes to programming languages, right? Other than API, other than API, programming languages will give you more flexibility for JSON. So wherever you see, uh, web-based API, like uh, consider you are taking a Facebook data. Okay, you can just uh, check uh, Facebook JSON API. 
So they will be giving in a JSON format. It may be Twitter, it may be any web uh, social media data. So most of the social media, uh, most of the web APIs, they'll give in a JSON format. JSON is flexible for APIs. And JSON, when it comes to programming language analytics part, advanced analytics part, if you have a complex data, so JSON will give you that complex data type support. Okay, so that's the advantage of JSON. That's why companies from past 10 years, they're preferring more JSON. Then what is another type of data? Unstructured data, unstructured data. So it may be text files, it may be service web, website applications data, logs data, or sensors data, images, videos, emails, audio files, social media data, we'll call it as unstructured data. Last 10 years, because of social media and uh, application changes, app, apps, okay? So different type of data when it comes to unstructured data is increasing day by day. Unstructured data uses, unstructured data storage increasing day by day. So I have created data files for structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data in my Git repository. You can just go to my Git repository. My Git repository is called uh, Ravindra TL and PySpark Telugu. If you go to this repository, you can find a lot of sample data files. What is exactly CSV data? What is exactly XML data? So what is exactly JSON data? Okay, so I have created, so, this is the data, JSON data, key value pair, starting and ending with curly brackets. And similarly, CSV data. CSV means any delimiter. So here is a comma delimiter, comma delimiter. And here it is XML. This is XML. So you can find a lot of sample data files in my repository for learning purpose, for POC purpose, for practicing purpose. You can use those data files, log files, zip files. Okay, if it is in a different delimiter, so pipe delimiter, this is the pipe delimiter data. So this is about data. Data is information which can be any type, can be any type. The next one is, what is metadata? Even you should have some idea about what is metadata. So metadata, so data is like information. How you manage that information is called metadata. Data about data. So data is information. How you are managing that information? I'm managing that information and being in database, particular database, particular table, particular columns. So that information I'm storing in a columns. So columns also metadata. That data type backend the supporting data type also metadata, table also metadata, database also metadata. So database name, table name, columns, data types, we'll call it as metadata. Data about data, how you manage information in a particular database. So that managing part, we'll call it as metadata. Nothing but data about data. What about semi-structured, unstructured? Semi-structured, unstructured, we'll call it as files. Even it may be CSV also file. So when it comes to here, if it is CSV for the first record, the CSV first record is metadata. Header, headers, every CSV file will be having a header. And the file name with the location, folders, whatever you have a file name with the location is nothing but a path. File type is a text file or CSV file or that file or TSV file. So file name with the location, file type, folder names, this information we will call it as metadata. Metadata may be file system level, maybe at databases level. If you're talking about file system level, particular folder, particular location, what exactly you're storing, which location you're storing a data file. Consider, I'll go to my, consider, I have some files. Consider, this is one PDF. So where it is available in a particular location, particular folder, that file name, file type, okay? And when it comes to, if you go to some other location and uh, this is the, where, where it is exactly it is available, where exactly it is available. And, uh, Complete a location about that, complete location, if it is in download or if it is in wherever it is. Consider if I open this file, if I open this file, or maybe if I open this file, the file name with the location and what it contains, what it contains. It may be here, if you look at here, this is a header, header is metadata, delimiter is metadata, your data is this one only. But this delimiter is metadata, your header is metadata, that file type is metadata, file name is metadata, where it is storing that location, path, folder name, hierarchy is metadata. Metadata is data about the data. It may be structured, semi-structured, unstructured. Information is data. How you manage that information is metadata. How you manage that information is metadata. If you're storing that information in database, that database name, tables, columns, we'll call it as metadata. If you are storing that information in a particular file, which file was the file name, file type, file location, we will call it as metadata. We'll call it as metadata. If you want to become a data engineer or a data analyst, whatever it is related to data, you should have some basic idea about what is data, different types of data, and what is metadata. What is metadata? 
data about data or you can say how you manage that information is metadata okay this is the first session related to data engineering fundamentals every data engineer should have a basic idea about what is data different types of data what is metadata and the next session what we will do we will more deep dive into what is the etl process what is the elt process what is a basic computer what is a basic compute and uh, when you are processing data where it's processed is it disk or network or memory ram so the cpu so these things which we'll understand okay if you like this video please subscribe my channel See you in another video. Thank you. Happy learning.